we shot in Australia, Hawaii, and Vietnam, and like really deep, secluded parts to try and get the feel of what it's like to be in land that's been untouched by man. So because of that, like a lot of the time there's no cell service, there's certainly not Wi-Fi. It was too far away to go back to your trailer between setups. So we were all kind of just together in a tent outside in the jungle for, I don't know, 10 hours a day. So you become very close. These are people you don't want to whine in front of. We were a long way from home for a long time, and we kind of kept each other going. Uh, they're very funny people, very creative, and really special. So man, we had a really good time. We spent a lot of time sitting around in tents waiting on them to set up the next shot and doing this, that, or the other, talking about this, or walking and walking and walking and just stopping and saying, OK, cut. And we just plopped down this long grass. Hopefully we weren't sitting in the middle of an ant hill or something more dangerous in Australia, like a brown snake patch or whatever. Uh, look at, occasionally you look around and you go, oh wow, look, kangaroos. Are they kangaroos on Skull Island? You can't use this yet. I don't know, I don't know what he's been eating. Either way, it hasn't ended well. One of the great strengths um, of Jordan Vote Roberts, our director, is that he insisted we shoot this in real places and he spent a long time location scouting so that Skull Island was tangibly made up of some of the most beautiful and remote places on Earth. The volcanic valleys of Hawaii, the lush rainforests of Mount Tambourine, and the swamps and mountain lakes of Vietnam are all present in the film. And I think you can feel that palpably when you watch the film that cast and crew were dropped into these places and we, you can feel the heat and the moisture and the sweat and the, you know, the fact that we're all running through swamps. It just feels real in a way that you can't recreate digitally.